So when we're out doing this, of course we don't want this to happen, but if you look for fresh bait, it's easy to get. So along your travels, you're always gonna run into a stand of, uh, of uh, popper somewhere, and that's the best bait. If you, uh, if you go to the spot where you want to trap, nine times out of 10, you're never gonna find any fresh, good bait to use, so. Dave and I are pretty good at uh, getting the bait where we need it. See how the chain come off? No, what you just said. Oh, my uh, sprocket seems to be loose here. I don't know if there's a, supposed to be a bolt there or not. A lock washer or something? Isn't this only a couple years old? Yeah, but I use it a lot, so it wears out pretty fast. How often do you rebuy? Well, they, they, these saws go on sale usually a couple times a year for like 200 bucks. So, I have a spare. Looking to have enough water to put at least two sets of snares on. Four snares. Four or six is what I like to do. Can run more. And of course, you gotta get everything out of the way so that it doesn't the little pieces of slush or whatever out of the way so that you don't get off your snare when you push it back down the hole. If I made a big hole and it got really mild then the beaver will come up through the ice and then it, you get a damaged beaver. By cutting a slit like this, there's a lot more chance that he stays under the water. It freezes a little bit faster. Okay, so good to go here. Just nicely feed it in the slot. Snares are too high. Okay, so we made it shorter. Okay, so we're turning again. So I just took two beavers, one on each snare pull, and uh, I'm right in a bay where there's cottages. So hopefully uh, get the beavers out of here. It'll, it'll maintain some balance here for the people that live around the lake because the beavers will cut down all the birch and the popper, all the shade trees. So people work hard at maintaining their properties. They don't need beaver coming in and taking down all their trees. So it's a service that trappers do that most people don't even realize. Uh, you have an active trapper, he, uh, he keeps on the land and he maintains a balance here. So we don't trap every beaver, but beavers like this in the bay here where there's cottages, the people are happy to see them gone. So what we got going on here is a big house and there's no ice. And that's the ones we really like because then you know there's a lot of beaver in there. Instead of putting a snare pole, we might put a snare pole anyways, but right away we'll put our stands in and and catch them on the, with the conny bears. So that's my job. 
That's why we brought the traps for this situation. Yep. You want help? What are those? That's your garbage chute. What do you mean? Well, they throw all their sticks. See how they're all clean? Yeah. Is bark on them? They go on the outside. No, they go, these ones go on the inside. Oh, do they? Yeah. Remember before we were fighting with them so much? Oh fuck. Oh. 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 I knew that was gonna happen, Dave. That would have been fun. So just quickly want to show you why you always have to have a safety wire. In this case, the beaver chewed that pole halfway. So without my safety wire, he would have took off at the bottom of the pole. And uh, one of the reasons I like Savage Old Traps is you can see uh, caught by the tail there, the muskrat. So good to go but this beaver uh, would have took off with the pole if I didn't have a safety wire so always always have to have a safety wire and always make sure you got a good crosser that's the size of the crosser that I like so that he doesn't get pull a pole underneath the ice sometimes when they chew it especially, especially if it doesn't freeze so just gives you an idea really important to have that safety wire without the safety wire lots of bad things will happen No, that's good. I think I caught that case, it wasn't any good, that snare. What was it doing? It was caught on the ice. Lower your probability. Yeah. Done? Done. Where are they here?